children from across Wakefield faced down a Dragon's Den style panel of judges during the final of the Schools App Challenge 2016. Six of the city's primary schools battled it out in the final, with the winners, Horbury Bridge Academy, now set to see the app they've spent the past few months designing and coding turned into a real live download. Over 200 Year 6 students have been involved in the competition, which is designed to promote better health awareness through the use of technology. Horbury Bridge pupil Maisie Holmes described her reaction when the winners were revealed. We were all really excited because we didn't expect that we were going to win at all, but I'm glad that we did. The most important thing today is congratulations for getting this far. Well done for all of the hard work that you've put in to date. The winner is Horbury Bridge. I think with the winning entry, the first thing that sprung to mind within about a minute of the children starting was it was a whole fully formed idea. It just felt like something I could see in an app store today. It's children giving advice to children um, and doing it in a way that's really relevant to them. The final was held at Wakefield's Unity Works with a judging panel made up of senior leaders from a number of organisations including West Wakefield Health and Wellbeing, Wakefield Council, Microsoft, NHS England and NHS Wakefield CCG. As well as the thrill of seeing their Healthy Island app become a reality, the winning pupils, together with runners-up from Sandal Castle Primary, will get to spend a behind-the-scenes exclusive day at Microsoft's Rare Studios, learning how the games of tomorrow are made. West Wakefield's programme director, Dr Chris Jones, gave his reaction to the standard of entrance. The judges have been astounded by the quality of the entrance uh, that they've had uh, presented to them. Without exception, everyone was thoroughly thought through, well researched and presented and they've made their schools, I think, very proud of them. For a while when we came in, I had butterflies, I thought it was quite scared and then the judges walked into the room and I saw there was quite a lot of judges, so then I got even more scared, but then it wasn't that bad and they asked really nice questions, so I'm quite happy with the way we turned out. I could say things until I'm blue in the face about physical activity and healthy eating, but it's far, far more powerful if a 10 or 11 year old says that message to their peers. Healthy food is good for you, so let's all run and have some fun. Wicka, 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 I've been telling my mum about everything we've been doing in the app challenge and I've been telling her all these health messages, things like how much a portion was because she didn't know. The pupils have loved it, they really have loved it. Coding and gaming is becoming far more popular, children are going to have to know it at some point so starting it now is a great idea, it gives them a good platform to build from. It's a, a very subliminal way of getting a message across without them actually realising that they're learning at the same time. I think what's strong about the Schools App Challenge is it builds on that apps are currently have got great currency, there's things that kids are using anyway, so we're tapping into something that kids are familiar with and they like to use, because all the evidence shows if young people are thinking and behaving in a healthy way right at the start of their lives, those patterns of behaviour will carry through to adulthood. Everybody's a dreamer these days. But we live in an era now where technology is so easy and so accessible that really if you can dream it, you can build it. And that's what we try to demonstrate to these children is that if they have this idea, make it. And this is, it's really been proven today.